This, this is fright, frightening little mouse. Still just a bit timid. This is a little mouse I rescued from a cat earlier. I think it might be a shrew or a field mouse. It's tiny. Look at it next to my finger. Still a bit frightened, but he was uh, eating a bit of cucumber earlier. I was quite happy I was hand feeding it to him. They got a bit nervous again when I put the light on. I'm going to um, close the lid on the box for a bit and let him, let him get his confidence back again. And then hopefully I'll take him out later and let him go somewhere nice and quiet. See if I can get him to turn around and uh, have a look at his cute little face. It's the cutest little thing you ever saw, I'll tell you. Don't want to um, frighten him anymore though. Oop. Makes me jump because I don't know why. But I was bitten by a mouse when I was a kid. I think he's going to bite me. <laughs> Hello. Did ask me when I got the cucumber. not actually eating it, it's licking the moisture off it. It's doing amazingly well, it was, the cat was just fr flinging him around the garden. And it's only obviously a baby because it's so small. He's doing well because I'm uh, looking at him. And the mice aren't like, wild mice don't like have much to do with humans normally, do they? <laughs> How cute is that? Try and get him to eat that bit of cucumber again. Well, I just made up a little um, mouse platter for my little field mouse or shrew, whatever it is. And I'm going to put it in there and um, tuck him up for the night. I've made a little little nest in that shoe box for him. I'll show you. There's some uh, cucumber there, a few coconut flakes, and a couple of peanuts. That's probably about four times the size of the mouse anyway, so it should be enough to uh, keep him going. And I just sprinkled a little bit of water on there to make it moist. And I cut a bit off the end of this cardboard tube. Made a couple of little, uh, little nice places where you can hide in there. And I put some um, warm tissue in there or something. So you can make a bed for the night. I might, might put him out tonight, but there's no like really safe gardens around here, they're all full of cats, so I'll probably have to take him out tomorrow. Yeah, I've made, made him a little mouse house. And, uh, a couple of toilet rolls in there, there's this little cucumber platter. 
he makes it up to the corner and another tube goes down to a flower pot and there's some um, dried seeds and things in there we can make a nice nest there's enough in there for a little mouse to explore for one night and uh, the lid will be down the lid's got holes in it look There, it'd be nice and dark and quiet in there. It's safe, it'll be safe for tonight anyway. And late, later on tonight or tomorrow, I'll go in a nice field somewhere. That's my little mouse video. Thanks for watching. I thought it was the end of my little mouse video. I just caught him climbing out of the box. He's obviously uh, perked up a bit now. He's quite happy he's out on me. <laughs> Cute. Let's see if I can get this on uh, super macro. Hi to the camera. Twit. I'm going to put him in the box tonight, he's going to escape. <laughs> Probably wants to know a bit of cucumber. Put some in his box. Maybe I was coking up. He'll come out and play with me. And sit in his box. Where's the cucumber? He wants to. Uh, he wants a little drink. Drink. This is fright frightening little mouse who's now full of beans, full of cucumber, and just trying every way possible to get out of his little box, shoe box house I made for him. So uh, I think I should take him up the road and put him in a garden tonight. He's ever so friendly, look at this. He'd rather be on me than uh, in a shoebox anyway, I think. Anyway, that's my little mouse made it. Oh, you're cute.